Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 8th of 2023 well, it is titled Vega and Comet 12P Pons Brooks. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image from just a few days ago on December the 4th showing a comet Pons Brooks and we see that down toward the lower right side and to the upper left we see the bright star Vega. And Vega is the fifth brightest star that we see in our night sky. Now here they were very close together in the sky and of course since then Vega remains in the same place relative to the other stars while the comet within our solar system continues to move and its position will continue to change. Now Comet Pons Brooks is on its way in toward the inner solar system and will actually make its closest approach to the sun in April of next year. So that makes April a pretty big month for observations. If this comet brightens enough to be visible, uh, then it would be just a couple of weeks after the eclipse. So the major eclipse, solar eclipse for North America being on April the 8th. And this would be a chance to see a, a comet if it brightens as well. Of course, we don't know how bright the comet will get. This can be because can vary and it has gotten brighter recently. So that's a good sign as we are still several months away from its closest approach to the sun, which is generally between when it is closest to the sun and closest to the earth, when a comet will appear the brightest in the sky, when it will be giving off the most material. So as material is vaporized off the surface of the comet, it forms that halo around it that we see here, as well as the tails being pushed back by the sun. So energy from the sun will push that material back and will give the prominent tail. Now the tails develop more as the comet is close to the sun. We don't see a lot of tail development when comets are out in the depths of the solar system. Now, how often do we see a comet? Well, for a specific comet, it really depends on its orbit. Some comets have very short periods and come back every few years. Other comets come once every thousand, ten thousand or hundred thousand years and have very, very long orbits. This one is intermediate. This one last visited the inner solar system back in 1954. So about 70 years ago, so it's going to be about 70 years and it will return to Earth. So it's comparable in that case to Halley's Comet, which is a period of about 76 years. So something we can keep an eye on over the next few months, while Vega will stay pretty much the same as it always has, we hopefully will see some changes in brightening in a Comet Pons Brooks as it gets closer to Sun and Earth. So that was our picture of the day for December 8th of 2023. It was titled Vega and Comet 12P Pons Brooks. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.